Hey, welcome. So today I'll be taking you guys through my espresso workflow routine at home and let's dive straight into it. So I'm going to go ahead and dose 16 grams of beans of this natural Brazilian coffee. So that's a Brazil Santa Rosa uh, roasted by Archers in the UAE. So I dose 16 grams over here and you can see I'm dosing it into a dosing cup. I uh, just recently brought, bought that from Crema Coffee Products and I saw that and I thought it would be very helpful especially with getting a, you know, a nice distribution and it would prevent channeling in my puck. Anyways, I'm grinding the beans here and you can see that I rock the grinder back and forth in order to get all the retained grounds out. It has terrible retention, it holds on to a lot of the grinds that you put in and I use it as a single dose grinder for now, which is a terrible idea. I don't know why I did that, but I'm waiting for my bellows to come in, which will help get all the retained grinds out. So hopefully that'll fix my current problem. So you can see here that I already warmed up the espresso machine and I also warmed up the cup and just the portafilter and the group head. So yeah, I ran an empty shot of water just to get things warmed up. So use the dosing funnel and emptied the grounds into the portafilter. It fits perfectly. So I just give it a shake to make sure everything, like the get rid of the clumps and stuff, make it sure it's nice and distributed. And then I use a paper clip as a WDT tool. So that helps get rid of the clumps as well. And it'll help prevent channeling in my puck uh, when it comes time for extraction. So give it a little shake as well so that it's nice and evenly distributed. Use the distributor. So this is similar to the OCD. Helps level your coffee bed and then go ahead and tamp nice and even. And give it a sh small little polish. There you go. Nice and good looking coffee puck. Log that in, put the scale down, and get your cup, tear the scale. So let's start extracting now. So you can see that I'm holding onto the button over here, and that is because this is done for pre-infusion in the Brevo, and I don't have it automated. So I did a seven second pre-infusion, and then I just let it go. Then it goes on to, where, to full pressure, which is around nine bars, I guess, but it doesn't say on the gauge. And I'm going for a much longer shot here, as you can see. So it's a bit more than a one to two ratio. So 16 grams in, and I'm going for around 30, 36, 37 grams out. And that was around a 34 second shot, which is longer than the general guideline that people follow. And yeah, so give that a stir, mix it up, make sure everything's nice and mixed. Let's see, how does that taste? Not bad, it was smooth, but there was a bit of bitterness and I felt like I over extracted it, but it was very subtle. It was still good, as pleased. Video's already over, jeez, that sucks. But hey, just subscribe and keep watching more content that'll come out in the future. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a lovely day. Take care, stay safe. Love you, bye.